Welcome to a journey back in time, to an era when early humans began laying the groundwork for modern society. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of the Cro-Magnons, one of the first groups of anatomically modern humans to set foot in Europe around 40,000 years ago. Often overshadowed by their Neanderthal cousins, Cro-Magnons were remarkable in their own right, displaying not only physical prowess but also cognitive and cultural sophistication. From their migration across continents to their mastery of survival in harsh environments, cro are a crucial piece in the puzzle of human evolution. But who were they really? What can we learn from the traces they left behind? In this video, we'll explore their origins, physical characteristics, culture, and the profound legacy they've left us. Let's embark on this exciting journey into the world of the cro our earliest European ancestors. cro belonging to the species Homo sapiens, emerged as part of the Great Migration out of Africa that began over 50,000 years ago. This migration saw early humans spreading across the globe, adapting to new environments and encountering other human species, including Neanderthals. It's believed that Cro-Magnons first appeared around 45,000 years ago, gradually making their way into Europe by following migratory routes through the Middle East. What's particularly interesting is that this migration wasn't a continuous movement. Genetic studies suggest that early humans, including cro may have paused in regions such as South Asia for tens of thousands of years before moving further north, a phenomenon known as the Arabian Standstill. During this time, they developed traits that would later aid them in surviving the harsh climates of Ice Age Europe, such as their robust builds and advanced toolmaking skills. When they finally arrived in Europe, they quickly established themselves as dominant hunters and gatherers, their success likely aided by their ability to adapt to rapidly changing environments. The cro migration story is a testament to human resilience and adaptability. As these early humans spread across vast landscapes and encountered new challenges with each step forward, the physical build of cro was a key factor in their ability to survive and thrive in the often brutal conditions of Ice Age Europe. Standing about six feet tall on average, cro men were taller and more robust than their Neanderthal predecessors, with larger brains as well. Their muscular bodies were well-suited for the physically demanding lifestyle of hunter-gatherers, requiring significant strength to hunt large animals like mammoths and reindeer. Their long limbs, inherited from their time in warmer climates, were still beneficial as they allowed for better heat regulation, even in colder environments. This combination of height, muscle mass, and agility made them highly effective hunters and tool users. In fact, their superior motor skills allowed them to throw spears and other tools with great accuracy and power, giving them a crucial edge in both hunting and self-defense. cro also had a distinctive facial structure, with a straight forehead, wide face, and prominent chin, features that set them apart from earlier human species. These robust physical characteristics didn't just help them survive. They were also key to their success in adapting to diverse climates and environments, allowing them to spread across vast territories and establish themselves as the dominant human species of their time. While cro were physically strong, they were also among the first humans to demonstrate a deep capacity for culture and creativity. One of the most fascinating aspects of their culture is their art. cro created some of the earliest known works of art, including the famous cave paintings of Lascaux, which feature intricate depictions of animals, hunting scenes, and possibly spiritual symbols. These early works of art reveal a cognitive leap in abstract thinking and expression, setting cro apart from other early humans. But their creativity didn't stop at visual art. cro also crafted advanced tools, such as spears, harpoons, and bone needles, which allowed them to better hunt, fish, and sew clothing from animal hides. Their use of bone and antler for tool-making demonstrated a level of innovation and adaptability that would have been crucial for survival in a constantly changing environment. In addition to their artistic and technical achievements, cro also practiced complex burial rituals, indicating a belief in the afterlife or at least a deep respect for their dead. Grave sites have been found containing tools, ornaments, and even ochre-covered bodies, suggesting that death was a significant event in their society marked by ceremony 
and perhaps spiritual reflection. These cultural developments highlight how Cro-Magnons weren't just physically advanced. They were cultural pioneers whose creativity and social structures laid the groundwork for future human civilizations. One of the most intriguing aspects of Cro-Magnon life is their relationship with animals, particularly the domestication of dogs. Evidence suggests that around 36,000 years ago, Cro-Magnons began forming a symbiotic relationship with wolves, which eventually led to the domestication of dogs. This partnership likely began with wolves scavenging near human campsites, gradually evolving into a mutual relationship where wolves helped Cro-Magnons in hunting and offered protection, while the humans provided food and shelter. Over time, these interactions resulted in the domesticated dog, an animal that would play a crucial role in human survival and society. Early dogs would have been invaluable in hunting, able to track game and assist in bringing down larger animals. Their keen senses also made them excellent guards, alerting their human companions to danger long before it arrived. Genetic studies on ancient dog remains have traced these early domesticated canines back to Cro-Magnon times, marking the beginning of a bond that has lasted for millennia. This partnership was revolutionary not only for Cro-Magnon survival, but also for the evolution of dogs, marking the start of one of the most enduring human-animal relationships in history. The domestication of dogs by Cro-Magnons represents a significant leap in human innovation, one that extended beyond tool-making and hunting techniques to include the early stages of animal domestication. Though the Cro-Magnons themselves disappeared, likely merging with other human populations, their genetic legacy continues to influence modern humans. For years, scientists believed Cro-Magnons were a distinct group separate from both Neanderthals and modern humans. However, recent genetic studies have revealed that early humans, including Cro-Magnons, interbred with Neanderthals and other Homo sapiens groups. This mixing of genes contributed to the genetic diversity we see in modern humans today. In fact, many people of European descent carry small amounts of Neanderthal DNA, a testament to the interbreeding that took place tens of thousands of years ago. What's even more fascinating is that Cro-Magnons, though no longer a distinct group, may have passed down certain physical traits, such as height and brain size, that still exist in some human populations today. Their legacy isn't just genetic, though. Cro-Magnons were among the first humans to develop complex tools, art, and social structures cultural innovations that have been passed down through the generations and continue to shape human civilization. While the Cromanian people themselves may no longer exist, their contributions to human evolution are still with us, influencing everything from our physical traits to our cultural practices. Understanding the legacy of the Cromanians gives us a deeper appreciation for our shared human history and the incredible journey of survival and innovation that has brought us to where we are today. The Cro-Magnons, with their incredible physical strength, advanced tool-making, and cultural creativity, were more than just survivors. They were innovators. From their impressive art and burial rituals to their groundbreaking partnership with dogs, they laid the foundations for many aspects of modern human life. Though their physical form has long since disappeared, their legacy continues to shape us, both genetically and culturally. They represent a pivotal moment in the evolution of Homo sapiens, showing us just how adaptable, creative, and resourceful our ancestors were. By studying cro we gain a deeper understanding of not just where we come from, but also the incredible journey of human evolution that continues to this day. Thank you for joining us in exploring the fascinating world of the cro -Magnets. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe for more deep dives into the history of our species. Until next time, keep exploring the mysteries of our ancient past.